Okay, friends, I've made it here. It's going to be a later start than I had hoped for. It's right about now, 11:30. But I have the the tube pumped up. I've got what I hope to be all the tackle that I'll need uh, packed in. Got a little water. I even brought extra ice today because I've learned that 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 uh, thermos that I have is nice and it's handy, but it doesn't keep ice as long as I would like it to. So um, the only thing is, and I'm not sure that this will be a good idea because you'll see when I get out there, I don't know what I'll be dealing with, but I think I'm going to go with my uh, seven, seven foot one inch Shimano, which is uh, medium fast action. Uh, I'm, th I'm thinking I'm going to get into some monsters over there. You'll see when I get there. It's, it's good looking water. Uh, but hey, we'll find out what we got. Uh, hopefully it, it won't be too awfully hot, although right now it's too awfully hot. But I'll see if I can deal with it. And uh, hopefully it won't be too rough a going to get to where I want to be. So uh, everybody, it's uh, time to go fishing. All right, friends, here we are. This is the surprise to the right here. The beavers have built a dam, and you can see their lodge right here in the middle. Now, I don't know how deep this is, but uh, as I, when I saw it, I thought, this is something that needs a float tube. Now, the only people that come out here are bird watchers, and it's a, a, a protected environment. But uh, I'm not keeping anything. I'm just going to fish and you know catch and release. Hopefully, I catch. If I catch, I'm definitely releasing. But my plan is to is to start out by working my way around the dam and uh, hit those trees and see what we get there. Now, here's the boat. It's all set up, ready to go. I hope I'm going to get out there and test it out. Now I'm sure that I'm going to get wet, but why, you, why get a float tube if you don't expect that? So, let me grab my rod here and attempt to launch. No oh, one thing. This, this water doesn't smell so good. I'm hoping that it's good deep water. Oh. Seems to be high and dry. Except now I've got a wet tushy. Put the spreader, the, the bar in for the stripping net. Lock it in. I guess I should. Got the that in there. Now this, I'm guessing, is the rod holder. All right, and we're off. Starting to get a little deeper.
Now I'm touching the, pretty much touching the bottom right now. Now it's gotten where I can't touch the bottom. I'm thinking that a little paddle wouldn't hurt. All right, let's get going here. Let's start out with this grub. Maybe it's an easy shiner. Well, shoot fire. Thing come untied. Well, since that uh, shiner wanted to go off, I think I'll try this whopper plopper again today. I'm going to learn how to steer this thing. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Well, I found out what the problem was at the beaver dam. And it's going to be the same problem as here at the bass hole. That rain last night that I told you about was heavier than I thought. And it put a lot of water on the ground. Right here at the be at the uh, bass hole, it's at least two feet higher than it normally is, and the water is moving kind of swift. So I'm not sure how well I'll be able to control this float. When I first started, it dang near sent me down to Chickamauga Creek. But let's see if we can get out here and do something. Like I said, I don't know how well it's going to do again in this in this current. Well, that's not too bad. Kind of makes me wish that I had a, an anchor though. What a terrible day for fishing. I've been out here since, uh, I think I've been on the water since about 10.30. It's 4.30 now, not even a nibble. Now when I was at the, the uh, beaver dam, I thought for certain that there would be something. But even when I switched to night crawlers, I didn't get a hit. I get over here to the bass hole and I find out why. Uh, that rain that I told everybody about put a lot of water on the ground. And it looked like uh, it was probably up maybe two feet. Uh, so uh, the positive thing about today is that I, I learned a lot about steering the, the uh, float tube 
and how it operates, how to put it together and, and get it pumped up quickly. I do like it. I would like to see some bigger pockets for storage and uh, maybe some bit different uh, or better improved uh, backpacking straps. Uh, it seems to sit a little low and there's no way I tighten them up as far as they would go and and I couldn't get it up high on my back which I was wanting but uh, other overall I do like it now there's still one box left and when that one comes open you people are going to just be so jealous I, I've got uh, no doubt that it's going to be a great asset to uh, for fishing and make for some heck of a nice uh, hook setting adventures. I'm sorry I didn't catch any fish today, not just because I would like to catch fish, but also because I'm sure y'all like to watch me catch fish. But thanks for coming with me anyway. Uh, it was hot, man, it's hot. I think the last time I looked, it said it was 85 or 90, something like that, but it was uh, the real feel was up, or, up around 100. Now, as I said earlier, it's almost like you could take a cup and scoop the water out of the air. It's so humid. I, the, the rain didn't help at all. And the weatherman promised that there would be some rain this afternoon. I was hoping that it would cool it off for us. But uh, it is what it is. Anyway, this will be a extra short video because there's no fish in it just me floating around on that tube thanks for coming with me uh, if you've subscribed thank you very much if you've not subscribed do me a favor and hit the subscribe button that like and the bell icon do it all this has been hook setting adventures fishing with pudding